there are a few things to keep in mind. The first thing is that the picture you have of multiple sclerosis is probably not an accurate one. You're much more focused on severe disability, which undoubtedly can occur, but is rare in patients with MS. The second thing is we have excellent treatments now, which are the best they've ever been. And in the majority of people, we're able to completely control the disease activity. And finally, we have um, made advances in treating symptoms for people with MS, uh, which means that we can treat symptoms much better than we ever could before. Please don't be scared of MS. I know it seems scary at first, but you will be absolutely fine. There are so many resources out there that you can tap into. Um, and that can help you out along the way. And I think as time went on, the longer that I'd had the disease, the braver I got in terms of wanting to seek out more information. Um, I mean, some people want all the information straight away. It took me a little bit longer. I think I was possibly in denial a little while. Um, but then as I, in my own time, I was able to seek the answers that I needed. Um, and now I'm not afraid to sort of find out the nitty gritty parts of MS. I would tell my 20-year-old self that it's going to be okay. Look, to be honest, life never works out the way that you think it's going to. Uh, I think it's what makes the journey quite interesting, but it's all going to be okay. So you've just been diagnosed with MS. I would say to you that the future is bright. We have dedicated individuals working tirelessly in the laboratory and the clinic to design new ways to prevent and treat the disease as well as repair the damage. If you said to me that you had MS, um, I guess my initial reaction was, is as a friend, what a bummer, you know, what bad luck, this is, this is just out of the blue and really, really difficult. I guess I would also like you to maybe think that there are things that you can do immediately and that um, over time, I think you will feel empowered and I think it'll be a journey in which you'll end up um, feeling even better about yourself um, than you can possibly imagine. This is an incredibly difficult and scary time for you. you. Suddenly your life plan is completely changed. But my message to you is really one of hope. We can control this disease in most people uh, with MS. There are many people five or ten years down the track who are perfectly well. It's a very small part of their life. We can't cure this, but we can control it. When I was first diagnosed with MS, I was really scared. I'd only heard the worst stories, and all I knew was just the worst case scenarios with anyone that I knew that had MS. But now I've had it for 10 months, and really I'm living a normal life, as close to normal as I could think possible with MS. Life can be great, and it is great. You know, I have two kids. Uh, I have a husband, we have you know, a wonderful life, we have fun, um, I live a really positive life and I don't worry about every little thing that people seem to worry about. Um, yeah, life can be great and it will be. If there's one thing that I've learned from this that I could pass on to you, that is you can deal with this and you will deal with it and you'll be stronger as a result of everything that you learn. My research team is really dedicated to trying to develop new treatments for multiple sclerosis and we're working really hard and we will not stop until we find a cure. I just want you to know that there's been incredible progress over the last five years and that is only going to get better. I believe that that progress we've had will increase tenfold over the next five and there'll be wonderful discoveries. And I promise you, it gets easier. Those fearful moments right now, they might be taking up all of your day or big parts of your day, but six years on for me, I do get fearful sometimes and I have moments of, of intense fear and uncertainty, but they're moments, they pass, they have perspective and they, they happen every, every now and then. It does get better. Don't worry, don't panic, gather your support network. We know that people diagnosed now are likely to do much better than people diagnosed 30, 40 years ago. There are terrific therapies around. There are terrific support systems around. Just sit still for a second and take a big deep breath. It's gonna be okay.